believers in the Lord Jesus Christ have been set free from bondage. Their sins are no longer counted against them because the ransom has been paid. In 1973, a 17-year-old Italian boy, the grandson of John Paul Getty, the oil baron, was living a life of luxury in Italy when this 17-year-old was kidnapped by gangsters. They demanded a $17 million payment. The Gettys did not pay it. The gangsters cut off the teenager's ear and sent it to the Italian press. And then they, then they demanded a $3 million ransom, which the Gettys did pay. The grandpa, John Paul Getty, paid $2.2 million, which was the maximum allowed as a tax deduction. And his son, the father, picked up the rest. Ransoms and free. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper, published every Monday and Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific time, where I take the truth of scripture and apply it to your daily living. Listen to Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Redemption, that is deliverance, rescue, because a ransom has been paid. The good news is this, that the price, the penalty of sin has been paid. The power of sin has been broken through Christ's death and resurrection. And the presence of sin will one day no longer exist as we are in the presence of Jesus. Jesus. YouTubers, if you like this, hit that like button. As the uh, contemporary English version states in verse 14, who forgives our sins and sets us free. Because our sins are forgiven, we can now have a clear conscience and we can approach God confidently. No longer does the fear of punishment hang over our heads. When I was a sophomore in high school, I was somewhat of a radical, and the school adopted this attendance policy that I didn't like. So I called for a sophomore skip day as a protest to this attendance policy. Well, 70 people showed up one spring Friday morning ready to skip school, and they asked me, what are we doing? Where are we going? And I hadn't planned it that well, and we ended up drinking that day, and, and all of us got suspended, which which is kind of ironic for skipping school. But the vice principal told me that if I would clean up my act for the rest of my high school days, that he would expunge the record. My good behavior would allow the record to be expunged. Now, I don't know what a high school record means to employers or universities or anything else, but nonetheless, that meant something to me and motivated me to clean up my act. But in Christ Jesus, it's the opposite. Our sin record is deleted, not because of our good behavior, but that deletion of the sin record on Jesus' part motivates us to good behavior and to live for him. So we have been redeemed and we have been forgiven as far as the east is from the west, so far as have, have our sins been removed from us. What difference should that make in our life? We ought to be exceptionally grateful. But we get distracted, don't we? My prayer for you and for me is that we would continue to overflow with gratitude that we've been set free from the bondage of the power and the penalty of sin. We have been redeemed and forgiven. Now, for more on this freedom, check out my last episode of Truth Talk, episode 185, and I will include the link in the description. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure you you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And until next time, may you overflow with gratitude that you have been set free, redeemed, and forgiven.